Hi, um, my name is Gabriella, and me and Antoinette will be playing Sandy Grant, the director of food and beverage for the Three Star Hotel, um, Sadler Hotel in Ithaca, New York. We will be negotiating a coffee bid with Pat Hammer, the East Coast Vice President of Sales for Anderson Coffee, which is played by Anel. Yes, I'm Anel playing Pat Hammer, the East Coast Vice President of, of Sales for Anderson Coffee, meeting with Sandy Grant at, um, well, the food and beverage director for Starler Hotel in New York um, to be able to negotiate a coffee um, bid that we are going through right now. Okay, so thank you for meeting with us. My pleasure. Um, so Anderson, we know, offers a superior product over the current vendor that we use. Therefore, we are willing to negotiate um, or see if we can negotiate um, the cost per pound of coffee that you're offering. Um, we also aim to increase the cost effectiveness of the hotel's purchasing practices in doing so, while enhancing the quality within the coffee we offer to our guests and customers. We find that to your benefit, um, our hotel and school affiliation, we will be able to represent long-term publicity uh, with our high levels of product exposure for Anderson's coffee. Um, the two issues that we do find uh, include the pricing, of course, and uh, the quality of coffee that we currently offer. Um, regarding the pricing, while your coffee product is superior to our current vendors within the market, we still must acknowledge and consider the balance between budget and our budget and our expenses. Um, and regarding quality, our guests are demanding and judge regarding the quality of the restaurant's coffees and the hotel's coffees. To enhance customer satisfaction, we aim to provide all customers with the finest coffee product, and we do believe that Anderson can do that. And by enhancing the quality that we, we uh, serve in, through our coffee, we will establish a greater reputation, of course, uh, that can benefit both parties. Uh, Guests will know who Anderson is. Um, and in the long run, we establish, you know, a professional, a strong professional uh, business relationship with you. Okay, so um, I know that your current vendor, um, what's worrying you the most is um, the quality of their coffee, which you're saying that your um, customers and your clients are complaining about. So our starting um, price of $7.94, I do want to assure you that it does include the shipping cost. Um, if you do accept our contract and our bid, you um, are going to be our first and only um, client in New York, which we do um, see this as a good publicity opportunity. Um, I do also want to remind you that um, not only do we have really good coffee, we also have an extensive line of flavor, flavor coffees. Um, on top of that, we also provide our clients with advanced clinics and consultations on the coffee brewing and water filtration included with our contracts. Um, here I have a letter from one of our major pancake, a major pancake house who is actually one of our clients where they attest, um, all the positive results of these clinics that we do, um, that we do, um, have, um, we do have higher prices than our competitors because we do invest more money in our beans. We have extensive research and development on growing, processing, and brewing the coffee. So you are going to know for sure that, yes, you're paying a higher price, but you're paying for a way better product. Um, we are also committing to paying um, our dependent coffee farmers at fair prices for their living wage. So you also know that the people producing our product, which will hopefully be your product, 
are being paid at a very good price um and you know they're enjoying their their job and making this product for you um we normally sell for um the our standard restaurant price is eight dollars and ten cents a pound so we are giving you guys um you know some sort of cut on this on your pricing um but you know we also do see this as an opportunity as you said as a good publicity opportunity you know we're hoping that if you do get come in contract with us we will um be able to have more um you know customers and you know we our name would be more out there especially because you guys are the first um contract in um new york mm -hmm. um but you know it is a higher price but could, I am willing to negotiate a bit with you guys in regards to the price, but I just wanted you guys to keep those key points in mind. Um, but what price are you guys willing to pay? Well, currently we are paying four seventy per pound, and oh. we know that you guys have a contract with uh, Colonial Williamsburg, which is five ninety seven per pound, mm -hmm. and we know that they obviously order more coffee than yeah. we would. Um, but we're looking for something under $7 per pound for the year. Okay, so $7 per pound, um, I definitely cannot do. I was also, you know, one of the things that I went over prior to coming to you guys was your request for the bid. And, um, you know, there's one thing that I looked at was the equipment requirement that you guys have which um, you guys, you say you do have your own coffee equipment, but you're um, missing, you don't have the three Bun-O-Matic 10 cup pour over machines. And um, you are requesting us to have, to supply you with the equipment at no extra charge. Um, and also, you know, the coffee filters to be provided also at no extra charge. With also the chart of the you know future repairs while mm -hmm. we're under contract, um, that is something that also will cost us extra besides the shipping fee. So I don't know if you guys could go a bit higher. Um, what about around seven dollars and maybe fifty cents per pound? Oh, well, now as you said, um, you know we're going to be the first client in New York. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of one of our like strengths there for you guys, just because you guys aren't a known coffee company in New York. Also, mm -hmm. um, another thing is by providing, uh, by us providing Anderson Coffee, as Antoinette said, we're going to give you guys product exposure to current and future hotel managers, because mm -hmm. you know, that's what we do. And you're going to get good publicity throughout the entire school. So I feel like we a good offer would maybe be seven dollars and twenty five cents per pound. Okay. I mean, you guys, we're you, we're benefiting from you, but you guys are also benefiting from us. Yeah. All right. It so, also appeals to. Um, I'm sorry. Go I'm ahead. Sorry. It also appeals to, like I said, we are um, connected to the, the Cornell University, so it not only does it benefit the hotel and expose uh, the coffee to, you know, the customers and guests of the hotel and our restaurants. Um, it also appeals to some of the university stakeholders. So the brand's name being that we're the first um, that you will be uh, contracting with within the area, um, we are exposing, like we've been saying, to a large pool of people. So we do find that um, negotiating at a lower rate may seem um, a bit of a stretch mm -hmm. in part, but we do believe that it'll only benefit you in the end as well. Okay. Um, would you guys be willing to do the 725 but with two machines instead of three? Mm -hmm. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I'll be willing to do the 725 with one less machine. It's just, you know, it is an extra cost and the repairs too, um, it'll be cheaper to fix two machines rather than three. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I think 725 at two machines would be a good offer. How would you feel if we did 715 per pound with the two machines if we decided to extend the contract terms and increase the volume next year if customers enjoy the coffee? <sighs> I really don't want to go under 725. All right, you know what? I'll go with the 725 and the three machines. Okay. If you guys accept to extend the contract, if you know, if you see that in six months everything is going great, you extend it for an extra six months. So instead of a year, it'll be a year and a half of a contract at 725 per pound mm -hmm. with the three machines and the service, you know, any service repair that is necessary. Antoinette, do we agree with this? Um, I think that's a fair deal considering the, the start at the beginning rate that she, um, offered. Okay. All right. So should I write it down on this contract and set everything up for you guys? Yes, please. Yes or no. That's great. <laughs> how, right. how soon can this be effective? Um, as what's today, Thursday by Monday, we'll have everything set for you. Okay. So we'll sign the contract now. I'll go back, process everything, and by Monday, you guys should be getting your first shipment. And okay. you know, um, I believe you guys said um, one delivery will ship enough for fourteen days. So you know, I guess it'll be a good test for the first fourteen days, and if from there, um, for any reason, you know, if the coffee is getting more popular, then we could speak about changing it up to maybe one delivery per week. If it gets to the point where, you know, there's more usage and more consumption of the property of the um, coffee. Okay. Good. All right. Great. All right. Thank, great. Great. thank you very much. No, thank you for meeting me. It was wonderful. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Have a great night. Bye.